Hoi. It's time for another Assassin's Creed. So, last time <clears throat> I ended with that uh, strange, strange woman. So now I need to go and talk with the hermit. Let's see what the hermit had to say. There's a, something, something strange is going on in the background. Oh, I missed him. Pirate pointing. Mm, but okay. Athena's favorite bird, you know. I'm here for the key to the vault. Then what are you doing here? <laughs> That's nearly ridiculous. So you're telling me it's not here? I left it somewhere safe. It's near an abandoned camp on Egina Island. That doesn't sound very safe. How could it not be safe, surrounded by so many defenders? Why do I never get the easy jobs?
Aphrodite, Artemis, Athena, mothers and daughters of Olympus, please lead us to safety. We can't lose anyone else. I'm none of those, but I am Alexios, Hemistios. What's wrong? My people are in grave danger. We lost our leaders and our warriors, and now our hunters have disappeared. Hunting parties can be gone for weeks before returning. What happened to everyone else? War. The fight between Athens and Sparta has reached our borders, so the men left to offer their swords. I fear that those remaining will be lost to the sons of Xerxes. I haven't heard of the sons of Xerxes. That's quite the name. Persians left over from the Battle of Thermopylae. They have no nation except the heritage of an ancient king, but their numbers are great, and ours are not. I would not trade our roles in this situation, though killing is my specialty, and I can hunt and track. Do you deal in advice? I don't know how to address my people. They know something is wrong, and I'm not sure what to do about it. There is no easy answer. If you were to take it one step at a time, how would you start? I can't bring back the men, or stop the sons of Xerxes by myself. I know it's a lot to ask, but can you bring them home? Even if it's just bones, we'll need to honor them. I'll look for the missing hunters. My cousin Agnodiki volunteered to look for them. She hasn't returned either. Let's hope no one notices me here. Yeah! <laughs> 
The watch will be vigilant here. Yeah! <laughs> 
get this pelt back to Daphne at the temple. Did you get lost? Here, I killed your piggy for you. Hmm. You are skilled. Of that there is no doubt. I have plenty of talents. Of that you can be sure. Oh, is that so? Well, I look forward to putting them all to the test. Oh? And what did you have in mind? <laughs> Many things. But first, to business. There are beasts that roam this world, but are not fully of it. They've been placed here by the gods as trials, as tests. Neither god nor mortal has stopped me so far from achieving my destiny. Hmm, we will see. What exactly do you want me to do? I want you to prove your worth in the eyes of Artemis, and hunt these creatures. I don't need to prove my worth to anyone. Just tell me what's the reward. With each pelt you return, I will grant you a boon from Artemis. If you are able to slay all the beasts, well, let's say your relationship with the daughters of Artemis will be forever changed. All right, I'll do it. Now, just how many of these animals are there? Artemis has laid out eight trials, and you have already started the journey. Hunt down those that remain. How will I recognize the creatures? Oh, you'll know. Bring the pelts to me. I'll await your return with my sisters, the daughters of Artemis. I hope you don't make me wait too long to see your face again.
Are you huh? What are you doing here?
Those bastards! Those bastards! Are you all right? Do I look all right? You survived. It's more than we can say for your companions. That was our warning. First our hunters, then the rest of the village. I need to warn our magistrate about the son of Xerxes and their plans. And I need to see her about my payment. You've returned. What news of Agnodeki and the hunters? Magistrate Periktioni, I have grave news. The sons of Xerxes are preparing to strike. Oh, it's you. Magistrate, this Mistio saved me from certain death. For double the reward, I hope? Finally, someone around here who knows how to use a sword. I've been trying to convince Peri to build our defenses since we first saw the sons of Xerxes creeping closer to the village. Uh. This is my sister, Thea. She considers herself to be acting general of Lalea in the man's absence. It was your husband who shielded us before. Someone must do so now. Did you hear anything Agnodiki said? If we wait on the gods for help, we will be massacred. The only language the sons of Xerxes seem to understand is violence. Mistios, what if I hired you to protect the village? I'll do what I can. Good. Meet me at Kifiso Spring. I have plans for those sons of Xerxes. The Nitro Popograsso! Good to see your face again. Yours too. Lalea is the daughter of Kifisos, god of this spring. It's said that she lives in these pools. Thea, right? Beric Dioni told me you've been acting as general. Though, from what I saw earlier, you and your sister don't see eye to eye. Perry would die folded in prayer before she asked for my advice. Sometimes we want a comforting voice that says everything will be okay, rather than to be confronted with harsh reality. And now we are on the knife's edge waiting for the slaughter and we have done nothing. I must prepare myself to fight, and hopefully the others too. Can you teach me? Your sister says you act like a general. Let's see if you fight like one. I'm ready. on me. <sighs> well, that was humbling. The sons of Xerxes won't be as kind. No. It's a good wake-up call. One I wish Perry could have. But Big Sister always knows best. Sounds like she's always giving you a hard time. <laughs> you could say that. Acting like the hero while I do the dirty work. Now you're the hero. One can only hope to live up to that title. I've been playing soldier too long, and now I'm stuck in the role of Perseus while feeling like Andromeda. Ah, 
I seem to recall the legend saying that Andromeda was nude and tied to a rock. Was she? I'll have to remember that the next time I'm reenacting the myth. Lalea has a rich heritage for theater, though not so much for fighting. I've seen kings and commanders. You share their temperament. Perry married the governor. I am unwed. Spinsters do not become leaders. We exist on the fringes. Spartan women are taught to keep up with Spartan men. Lalea seems different. It is an oversight that I've been pushing to correct. When the men leave for war, our defenses are limited to a few hunters too valuable to leave. Or young men who can barely hold a spear. And now that the hunters are dead... We're more exposed to attacks from the sons of Xerxes than ever. We should get back to the task at hand. There's still a lot to do. You're right. But it's hard to know where to start. I need to train the others for war, but we are without weapons and armor. No blacksmith. But his daughter is still here. And what about the hunters you lost? We need to train replacements. There's also a camp close by. Likely the daughters of Artemis. They are not a friendly bunch, so we've been doing our best to avoid them. Who should I train to hunt? I've met with some volunteers from the village. They've got a little experience, but need to have their bow arms straightened. You can find them on the edge of La Lea. Not sure how useful I'll be to the blacksmith's daughter. Metheaudosa mentioned needing some materials before she can get started. And between you and me, she needs a little push. She's been helping her father at the forge since she could walk, but she still doubts her own abilities. I'll get to it. Tell me to make the weapons, but when you have them ask if I know how. Oh, who are you? A mercenary hired by the village magistrate. Oh, that explains why I don't know you. I'm Ethiadusa. Please don't tell me you need new weapons or armor. I don't, but the rest of the village does. Oh, that's worse. I thought you were the village blacksmith. Why are you so reluctant? I'm not the village blacksmith. My father is, and my brother is his apprentice. I just fetch wood when they need it. <sighs> now they all expect me to arm the village. Are you the only member of your family left? I'll know when the men return from war. Matter left with the ferryman last year. Is there any way I can help? <sighs> I think Pater left the molds and tools nearby, but I need ore, and even then I might make something utterly useless. 
You look capable enough to me. There's a difference between knowing how to do something with your mind and knowing how to do it with your hands. Fair enough. What kind of ore do you need? Any kind of ore will technically do, but... But... My pater used the legendary ore when making a dagger for my mother. It is called Aphrodite's ore. Sounds strange, but it's true. How did the ore get its name? The legend says Ephestos, god of the forge, found this ore and used it to make a helmet for his wife, Aphrodite. She loved it for its color. Because of that, the ore works in the hands of any smith. Where can I find the ore? It's hard to reach. It's down the cliffs at the Persian remnants in a secret cave just above the water. Sounds like you've been there before. I told you, I wasn't a smith. I was there to fetch what Pater needed. I'd go myself, but I need to hit up the kill. I'll bring back Aphrodite's ore. This is the whole hunting party? We're all Alea has to spare since the sons of Xerxes killed our husbands and sons. You must be the Mystios Perictioni hired. I am. We may not be the big brutes you're used to, but we're versed in killing well enough. Well, we know how to fish. That's a start. We're ready. Do you have everything you need? Yes. Get your bows and we'll go. Tell me about Lalea. We've been blessed by both the waters of Kephisos and by Aphrodite herself. For she is the source of all, <laughs> all settlements need to be near water. Ours just has a lot. And you fish in the pools and the river? Kephisos provides us with what we need. Not enough in there to provide for all of Lalea. That's why we need you. With the sons of Xerxes so close, is there less game around? We've been relying more on fish and fruit. It's enough for now. Animals don't scream and beg for mercy the way humans do. I doubt they interest the sons of Xerxes as much. They're still food. Perhaps their numbers aren't as high as we think. They may not have enough archers to black out the sun with arrows, but they do have enough to fill every citizen of Lalea with holes. Don't mention the bear. I'm already regretting being here. <laughs> when fighting bears, keep an eye out for when it gets angry. Then you need to run the other way. Level 
relax. The arrow needs to be just below your eye, and exhale and release. So that you can down the rest of the Thank you, Mistios. I've learned much from the bow. Aphrodite may provide, but Artemis acts. Lalea is such a beautiful place. I'm glad I can do my part to take care of it. Thank you. That should be enough to get you through the week, but there's still much to be done for Lalea.
του στρατόπεδων διατεταγμένων είναι αντιπέραν του πεδίου μάχη. Επιθυμώ του Great timing, Eagle Bearer. We're ready to advance on Athenian borders. And Sparta could use a warrior like you on our side. Interested in turning the tides of war in our favor? I'll join you. Good. We're glad to have your sword. Great timing, Eagle Bearer. We're ready to advance on Athenian. I'll share in your victory. Live to see. A bad day 
for Athens! A glorious day for Sparta! The mighty war! You have my egg. Yeah. Yeah. 
Come here. Now. Yeah. <laughs> 
That must be the cave. I can see why this ore is named for Aphrodite. That should be enough ore for Matiadusa. Time to head back. I found the ore. Amazing. Already the molds. Will that be enough for the village? It should be a good start. Oh, that reminds me. I have a problem. You and the rest of Lalea. I'm just one smith, and I can divide my time between making weapons and armor. But it will slow down the process. It would be faster if I just worked on one. Which should I focus on? Weapons or armor?
We can't kill bandits without weapons. We'll just have to hope their archers have poor aim. Yes, you're right. Your confidence gives me hope. Thank you for your help. I've done all I can for this women. Time to get back to Peritione. Need something, stranger? I have never been so insulted in my life. Those vermin! They profaned my holiest songs dedicated to the gods. Slow down. Who insulted you? The military commander hired me to play for his soldiers. They sang along. The most vile things I've ever heard. Profaners. Scum. And you want me to take down these soldiers? Yes. Every last one of these Athenians must die. I'll take care of it. By Zeus, thank you, Mistyos. You can leave everything to me. can talk some sense into my sister. I've just spoken with the hunting party. They recovered new enemy arrows near the boundaries of the village. Scouts. Likely sent ahead to find weaknesses in Lalea's defenses. Of which there are many. That's what I've been telling Perry! We need to kill those scouts. Even if we do defeat the lion's share of the sons in battle, the scouts will cut our throats as we sleep. If everyone dies in battle, there will be no village left to defend. Agnodiki spoke of enemy weapons caches. If we destroy those, we'll cut the legs off our foes. What did Agnodiki find? She overheard the sons of Xerxes discussing supplies they stole from a nearby fortress and returned to their camp. Why are these scouts such a threat? What if we're away in battle, and the scouts return to kill those we've left behind? We need to deal with this now. Which do we focus on? The scouts or the Cassis? I'll take care of the scouts. The last thing we need is an ambush. If you've chosen wrong, we'll be exposed with nothing to show for it. But if you must go, go now. Are you ready? I'll see you when it's done. What is it that Spartans say about shields? With them or on them? May the gods guide your path and the arc of your sword. Destroying the castles is strategic. Wandering through the woods looking for scouts is a waste of time. Come <laughs> on. 
some Macedonian guy is trying to sell us longer spears. You don't say. It seems a bit of a waste. We've got perfectly good spears on the baby. Drop. You're not welcome here, Stealth Sword. Please!
You're back. Have you killed them? I took care of them. Every last one. The gods favored me the day we met. Take this for your trouble, Mistyos. Thank you. That's all of them. Better get back to Lalea. I hunted them to the last. <sighs> I'll sleep easier knowing that. I still worry about them overcoming our numbers in battle. But thank you. This will change our fate. How prepared are we? We are under attack. Thea and her warriors are holding them off, but we need reinforcements. As prepared as we're going to be. Go. I'll stay with those who can't fight. This way! They've got us pinned against the rocks! Be so big! I can't believe we did it, but the cost. Yeah, this is war. We killed them. How? All I remember was swinging until my arms hurt, then swinging more. If you hadn't killed those scouts, I might have died thinking of them. I'm glad it's over. I may not be a champion of the gods, but it'll take more than a few wounds to fell me. Let's return to Lalea. you again.
over there. Patty! Thea, I'm here. It's okay. It's over. We beat them back. All that's left to do is burn the bodies. You protected my sister and my village. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. We protected each other. I don't know how we can ever repay you. I can think of a few ways I can repay you. Really? You're having this discussion here? In front of your sister and the whole town? Later, then. Gratitude, Mistios. Here is the Drachmi, as promised. You will always be welcome in Lale. My grandfather died not too far from here. I'm glad he defended this place from the Persians. Alexios, if you could come see me before you leave, I'll be by the waterfall. And now the work of rebuilding begins. to see all this beauty at peace once again. Mm. And for years to come, thanks to you. I can't promise you peace. But you did give us the tools to preserve it. So, what kind of reward did you have in mind? My first thoughts were of getting you out of those clothes. If that's the first thought, I can't wait to see how the second and third thoughts go. Oh, there won't be much thinking. But there will be seconds and thirds. What will you do now? With everything taken care of, I'm free to do what I want. A list that includes spending more time with you. Even when your men do return, I get the feeling they'll need you to help defend Lalea. They'll have to listen to me now that you've shown me that kick. Still, I'll miss you. Thank you for your help with the Sons of Xerxes.
My, my, is that Alexios of Aiad, the eagle-bearer, messenger of Zeus, he who launched a thousand hearts? Alcibiades, I'm known by many names, but that last one sounds to be of your own making. My young friend Orchimethes here could use your legendary talents to woo the object of his desire. You would have my eternal gratitude. I'm Amistios, not some famed lover. He's being modest. I felt the strength of his sword hand. Sadly, he never stays long enough to cuddle. Not when there are goats involved. This surprises me. You know what they say about Kefalonians. I'd like to know more about the man asking for my help. I'm Orchimedes. I came to Alcibiades because he boasts of his exploits as a lover and knows Braxila. What's the job? Have you ever heard of Braxila? The name sounds familiar. Who is she? Who is she? A poet blessed by Apollo himself. She describes the gods as if they were her lovers. Her lyre is a legendary weapon wielded in her hands. I want to meet her. But talking to a goddess such as she? Terrifying. Oh, nonsense. Usually you give a woman some flowers, and she'll show you her flower. However, this is Praxila. She is not easily impressed. Of course. No ordinary flower will do. They need to be worthy of a goddess. I come to this coast every year for the poetry festival. Of all the beautiful blossoms, none match the scent and radiance of the coral rose. Fetch some, and all doors and legs shall open for you. I'll return with your flowers. Where can I find the coral rose? It sounds rare. Mm, you would be correct. However, like all good things in life, these take more work than most are willing to expend. They're atop a nearby mountain. Say I do get these flowers. Where would I bring them? Back to camp? Braxilla should be in her tent. You mentioned being here for a poetry festival. I did. It's one of the many festivals to Apollo. But this one holds a special place in my heart. Among other places. Other festivals are so stuffy. Here we worship like maenads. I've heard enough. Please, if you are as skilled with sword and heart as Alcibiades says, you'll return to me with the coral rose. As a poet, it's best that I stay at camp while you do the hiking. You'd be an easy snack for wolves or bears. I'll return with the roses.
These must be the coral roses. I found your coral roses. You're back! That... that's perfect. The roses are perfect. Oh, look at the luster. The fragrance. Now, you must deliver them to her. You came all this way to meet her. You should be the one to do it. Please, I'm much too nervous to speak to her. I've composed a poem to recite. Here, let me teach you. I'd say it all wrong. I'm a mystios, not a poet. Then, would you at least deliver the flowers while I rehearse? Fine. But the rest is up to you. Okay. She's at her tent. That's right there. Go give them to her. Raxila, I have flowers for you from Orchimedes of... somewhere. Did I not tell you to get the wine five minutes ago? <gasps> Alexios of Aiad, may I introduce you to my dear friend Praxila, Apollo's muse and mistress of the Golden Strings. Your Praxila? Didn't expect an aged bard, mercenary of Aiad? People your age tend to have more wealth, so if anything, this is better for me. Raxila, this is Alexios of Aiad, eagle bearer, messenger of Zeus, launcher of a thousand. Alexios, Al Al, all the kings cowered from this god child's power, are scowling Achilles. Alexios, please, cry lads and ladies. Ah, a true genius. Look at those shoulders, a soldier, a Spartan, a thorn in the side of tyrants. He who dares challenge Poseidon. Alcibiades, this one I'm keeping my eyes on. The poems she writes about me are never so kind. I have flowers for you. They're not from me. They're from Orchimedes. He's right over... Uh... Well, he was over there. A coral rose? <laughs> I'll have to get my servant to add these to the pile. It's a gift. Show some gratitude. Where is that servant girl? I swear her head must be rattling with rocks. Mm, I wish she'd rattle my rocks. A haikos is missing. That idiot must have taken it with her and run off. A haikos? A haikos is Praxila's legendary liar. I set it down after tuning moments before you arrived. I can't go on stage without a haikos. I did see Orchimedes leaving in quite a hurry. We need to get that liar back. Please, without Praxila getting everyone's juices flowing, this festival is just a bunch of young men measuring the size of their verse. This liar was special. Can you play another for your recital? Perseus without winged sandals or a mirrored shield was just a man. Would he have the same legends, the same mystery, if he performed each task without a legendary weapon? It's very valuable, both in significance and in Drachmi. Orchimedes and the missing servant both disappeared as the lyre was stolen. They could be working together. Oh, and he seemed like such a nice boy. Alcibiades invited the viper into my tent. 
Is there somewhere they could have taken it? It's a poetry festival. There is no better hub for shady trade. I'll find the thief and return the liar. Do you know a man named Orchimedes? Orchimedes... Orchimedes... That's the kid who hangs out around the Vipers. Yeah, I know him. He's been coming to the festival for three or four years, maybe. The Vipers? Who are they? You know how it is. People feel small, so they band together to make the rest of us feel smaller. They took over the temple of Athena Etonia a while back. Now it's hard to take the road without being held at knife point. Do you think that's where Orchimedes would take a liar? <sighs> Hope not. For his sake. The Vipers are dangerous. If he did have the liar on him, they'd probably rough him up for it. <sighs> He's one of those kids that'd be keeping around for fodder, if you get me. Did he have a liar on him? I didn't see him with one. I saw him talking to you, then walking towards Praxila's tent. He and Praxila's pretty elot have been sneaking around lots. Just assume they were, you know, planting a garden. Is the Temple of Athena the best place to sell a stolen liar? You can buy and sell anything here, unfortunately. But going to the Vipers guarantees the person you stole from won't follow you in. Shame. It was such a beautiful temple. Thank you for your help. Hope you find the liar. Watch out for the vipers at the temple of Athena Etonia. Ufano, a cryptic anime.
by Zeus. I would have been a goner there if it wasn't for you. Lucky I came by. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm Epi. Well, Epizilos, but my friends call me Epi. Not that I have friends, necessarily. I'm Alexios. Charm. You have the look of someone used to being out in the world. You look like you shouldn't be outside on your own. At all. It can't be helped. I've been overcome with adventure. I have, in my possession, a Mykinian tablet that leads to a sacred burial site. I'm calling it the Cave of the Oracle. Good for you. Mykinians were known for their elaborate grave sites, full of precious things. How precious? Ancient jewelry, ceremonial swords and daggers. So, very precious. If you escort me, I'll show you. How can I turn down a promise of precious things? The fates have delivered you onto my path, and thus we travel together. Why are you going the fates away? have been known to have a sense of humor. Happening upon you, hero, is fortuitous. Glad to hear it. So, you dig through book roll? No. Well, yes and no. I dig through dirt, too. That's what farmers do. I uncover our history. Sometimes, hopefully this time, it will uncover ancient wonders. Hate to break it to you, but clay pots and dirt aren't that wondrous to most. I've dedicated my life to it. It's so much more than treasure to be looted. Is it, though? It's who we are. Knowing where we come from tells us where we are headed. Pfft, you educated people and your riddles. Some people don't care about the past. They only want to steal something that will make them a few drachmi. Imagine that. Hard to believe. My peers are no more than treasure hunters and art dealers. Well, you did mention precious jewels. These ruins and relics are notoriously hard to find. I found this one through clever searching and deduction. Tell me more about it. Mykinians held specific rituals. Some tales speak of objects made by the gods. Yes, the gods like to play their hand on occasion. Think of this, Mystios. How would you like to have had the gods help you in battle? Hello there. Need any help? My husband is a herald. An urgent message must reach his spy, but I fear soldiers may be watching for me. I'm supposed to deliver it? Yes, it needs to get there in one piece. You can count on me. Perfect. Time is of the essence. I should get going. A good warrior doesn't need any help from the gods, or anyone else. True, true. But think of what we might find there. You think we'll find something with this power? See? Now are you interested? I certainly am. The Oracle of Trophonios. I wonder if the cult's working here, too. What's this? Stay back. They seem drawn to this place. I hadn't expected that. Does this have to do with... Uh, whatever that name was you said? The Mykinians? I don't see how they could know. It must be related to Trophonios. I'll observe them and see what I can learn. Fine. I'll search further inside. Wait! Take this steely piece. See if there are markings that match it. Not much of a burial site. Mules are buried in higher places of honor. This steely piece looks like it can be placed.
this is unexpected. This is more elaborate than I thought. Ah, this is more like it. Let's see what we have. The markings match a piston. Hmm. This statue depicts a warrior. Epi will want to see all of this. We're in the right place. Unfortunately, my friend, it's been looted. All I found was this armor. That is highly significant. The Mykenians were a warrior culture, you know. So this must be a warrior's tomb. Huh. Well, it's a decent piece, but where is the rest of it? Hmm. That was only one part of the stele. If we can find the others, I can decipher the text. Maybe that will reveal more armor. The rest of the steely you speak of could be anywhere. If I can find clues for where to look, are you interested in finding the other steely pieces? I'll look for the others. Excellent! Now, I need to see those markings. Let's go inside. I didn't expect the steely keystone to actually be a key. I wonder what happens when all of them are in place. Even with only part of the steely, I can start to decipher the writing. What does it say? Um, I think that says, of the gods. Really? To think you were someone yelling for help not long ago. Look at me now. I think you're going to need all of them, though. According to this, it seems that the steely pieces have been deliberately separated. I wonder why they were separated on purpose. It doesn't matter if we can find them. 
Will you look for the other steely pieces? Of course. Where should I look? According to this, the next steely is... Oh, better you than me. I can't swim. Explore the ruins of Arni. What's the connection between this tomb and those worshippers? The writing mentions of the gods. It's not clear which gods, though. Once we decipher more, we should understand the connection. The armor must belong to the ancient warrior. But why remove it and spread it out across the lands? Good question. It must have something to do with the text. So these markings are an ancient language? Mykenian. There are languages even older than that, which have been lost. When this died out, sadly, we fell into a dark age. Time for me to go. That must be where they're keeping Archimedes and the liar. 